Shalom, shalom. First of all, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kakadash, the Dabon Sales, Great Mills, and Wild Truth, and also to the Hufilet that is scattered abroad. I'd like to say shalom and come back here today with another great, powerful lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of today's lesson is Watchman Report, Dark Winter Coming to America. So I'd like to say shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the paths of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I about we knowing that, you know what I'm saying, this may be a very dark winter. And I about, you know, we're seeing that, you know, they talks and rumors of what, a 25 uh, 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 a 25 day supply of what, a diesel. And also it says rumors as short as 17 day supply of a uh, 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 diesel. And also we know that that will what cause a disruption in the what supply chain line, and that about once that happened, we knowing that that you know what I'm saying the DC is you for what the 18 wheels also is you for the what the railroads also is you for what heavy equipment you know and so on, and that about you know we knowing that that's the what the heartbeat of America, and that about you know say hey we seeing that the economy is constantly plunging, we seeing that you know what I'm saying all the nation of, of what are turning back on the dollar, and that about the, the country is what is is weak, Americans what is collapsing, the infrastructure. It's collapsing. We're seeing that, you know, all of the same is here. And also, Biden said things about to get real. She said there we would be, what, food shortage. You know, he said that, well, I think, the first of this year. And I'd about to know things are getting ready to escalate. And so we know that if, if the diesel run out, that means that you won't have any gasoline, you know, to put in your vehicles. You won't even have uh, 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 the 18-wheelers won't even be rolling. So that about, you know, so you already know that the store is going to become, what, empty. You know what I'm saying? We know that the what? The convenience store is going to become empty. The, the, uh, uh, the medical supply, all these things going to dry up so the unsown places will become unsown. And that about the mental law, we come to sign and cry. Left and right, we are here inside the door. And that about, you know, all hell could break loose at any given time. So, you know, once they have a food short, then it will be what? Bank runs, you know what I'm saying? Total chaos. And that about people will be, you know, bugged out of their mind. A vaccination of, of spirit. Not about a, a man and what is travailing with a woman with child. Jacob's trouble is right at the door. We're at the beginning of Saul, so we're here. And they already talks about going nuclear. And out about it already has uh America already has some Marines on the what on the Ukraine border. And out about setting up and out about it, you know, so so things are getting ready to heat up. And out about we constantly warn you left, right, it is here. And also, it was rumors that Russia was saying that they were threatened to uh knock out uh uh, America satellites that, you know, to control the what? The internet. So, you know, that's talking about what? Uh, no internet or what? Rolling blackouts. So, you know, things are coming in. Hey, it's coming. You know, it's speaking loud and clear. Not about it. You know, it's time to seek the Lord. It's time to watch, pray, and be sober. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of time. And not about we're living in these times. Real time. And not about it. Hey, that dog winner is fast approaching. Remember 70 AD. You know what I'm saying? And not about it. You know, it's going to be worse. This 70 AD. It's going to be worse, hey, than the uh, uh, stock market that crashed in, uh, what, uh, 1929 through uh, 32. You know what I'm saying? Also, in 08, it's going to be worse than it, a time of trouble that you have never seen before. And out of by the time, ask the Lord to have mercy upon you. Ask the Lord, to, you know what I'm saying, hey, to guide you, to give you faith and build your faith if the Lord is dealing with you. And out of by, hey, the Lord's getting ready to bring that what? The indignation. And out of by, you know, the Lord's getting ready to what? To bring judgment. We're right upon that time. And out of by, also, the great and glorious return of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. And out of that, the title of the day lesson, once again, is Watchman Report, a uh, dark winter coming to America. Before we get started, I got a few video clips. And after the video clips, we'll start the lesson, and I hope that you get edified. We'll start the first one. One moment. One moment. Get the phone up. One moment. One moment. Here we go. We have an emergency update, and it seems like things have really gotten crazy in the last 24 hours. Both Putin and the Pentagon has put out statements pretty much saying that they're going to eventually be at war with each other in the next decade. But for those that know, the war is breaking off now. We don't have the next decade to get ready for a war with Russia and China because they're getting ready to, to fight pretty soon. So we'll start off with Russia. Russia warns the West that we can target your commercial satellites. Russia says using satellite imaging to aid Ukraine on the ground could be a call for a use of retaliatory strikes. This was the same day that Vladimir Putin rehearsed sinking Britain and obliterating the United States in a nuclear missiles test. Now, I literally have multiple sources saying that Putin rehearsed sinking Britain into the Atlantic with nuclear strike this week. Putin rehearsed a mass of nuclear strikes aimed at wiping Britain and the United States off the face of the earth. After Russia threatened to shoot our satellites, the United States vows to respond to Russian attacks on U.S. civilian satellites. 
The response will be appropriate to the threat posed to our infrastructure, says John Kirby. So the United States instantly said that they would hit back. The Pentagon and Biden also declared a cold war on China today. Because now they're going fully on nuclear deterrent, which means they're going to be deploying their nukes, moving their ships, moving their equipment closer to Russia and China. That's why Putin is saying the world is facing the most dangerous decades since World War II. He says Russia is trying to defend his right to exist in the face of Western efforts to destroy it. And I'm not lying. Biden's national defense strategy is literally to counter fully on Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea, which they also warned today if North Korea launches a nuke or tries to attack South Korea, that the Kim Jong Un regime would cease to exist. I'm pretty sure you can、uh, put two or two together of what that means. In a stern warning to North Korea, the United States military said on Thursday that a nuclear attack on American interests would mean the end of Kim Jong Un's regime as a country. They said there is no scenario in which the Kim regime could employ nuclear weapons and survive. Back to Russia, Putin says it doesn't make sense to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. He also said that he never threatened to use a nuclear weapon in Ukraine. See what I'm saying? Ukraine. So who are you talking about? Who were you talking about when you was talking about using all means of your arsenal? And your military capabilities. On the concerning side, the United States speeds up plans to deploy their upgraded B-61-12 nukes in Europe. And they said the reason for the acceleration is because of Russia's Vladimir Putin's threat of use of nuclear weapons in Ukraine. So, are they finally telling us that we're getting prepared for a nuclear war? As Putin said, that they will now allow NATO to place nuclear weapons on the border with Russia if they get to join the alliance. Now, in response to the 101st Airborne Division being on the border with Ukraine and Romania, Russia envoy warns of disastrous consequences if U.S. troops enter Ukraine, which they're considering doing any moment now. Putin says the chances of global conflict is high as we prepare for war. We have an emergency update, and it seems like. In other news, major international news: Vladimir Putin blasted the U.S. and its allies in a new speech today as fears grow that the war in Ukraine could lead to a potential nuclear conflict. The Russian leader delivered remarks at a conference of international policy experts. He accused the West of playing a quote dangerous and bloody game and seeking global domination. The West in recent years, and especially in recent months, has taken a number of steps to escalate. Well, as a matter of fact, they always play for escalation. There is nothing new here. This is the incitement of war in Ukraine. These are provocations around Taiwan, the destabilization of the global food and energy markets. Putin also repeated his unfounded claim that Ukraine plans to detonate a radioactive dirty bomb. This just one day after Russia and NATO held pre-planned nuclear drills. Joining us more now, ABC News foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burge, live in Kiev, Ukraine. Also, ABC News contributor and former State Department official Steve Gainier. Good to see you both, Tom. Let me start with you. Putin also denied any intention of using nuclear weapons in Ukraine. What else did he say in that speech? Well, Kenneth, I think the most interesting thing about this speech—I mean, in some sense, it was typical of Vladimir Putin. A lot of mixed messages, a lot of finger pointing towards the West for his invasion of Ukraine. But I think, really, the overall point here is that what we're seeing from the Kremlin and from Vladimir Putin in this speech is a move away from a lot of the. Quite ridiculous rhetoric in the early stages of this war, trying to claim that this was a war fighting fascism and Nazism in Ukraine, which we know is not true. More towards trying to reframe the war here in Ukraine as an existential fight for Russia, a battle between the U.S. and its allies and Russia with Ukraine. It's a slippery slope. Let me get my temporal hat. I'm gonna give you the timeline, okay? The diesel runs out. The stores start rationing. The truckers start rationing. When this happens, panic ensues, and panic buying starts. Everybody will hit the stores and buy as much as they can because they don't know what's going to happen next. Okay. When panic buying hits, the stores will be empty. If shipping is already delayed or not happening, once the stores empty, there's nothing. Okay. 
gas runs out. Panic buying, stores are empty, purge. Think about it. Lebanon president approves maritime border deal with Israel. Now it says that the Lebanese president, president um, Mitchell Michael Aon, however you say his name, approved the deal. But look who really helped. Somebody named Gabron Basil. If finalized, this will be a historic achievement of peace and security. Basil also declined to say specifically what kind of role he played. In this historic achievement, Lebanon has regained 860 square kilometers of disputed territory that does not belong to them. They have regained territory that does not belong to them. They have moved an ancient boundary mark. You shall not move your neighbor's boundary mark, which the ancestors have set in your inheritance, which you will inherit in the land that the Lord your God gives you to possess. Cursed is he who moves his neighbor boundary mark, and all the people shall say amen. This shall be the boundary of the land on the north side from the great sea, which is the Mediterranean Sea, coming from the great sea to the land is where the boundary shall start, coming from the north side. By the way of Heslon to the entrance of Sadad, Hamath, which sounds a lot like Hamas. And this Hamath place is in modern-day Lebanon. See? Coming from the Great Sea, the Mediterranean Sea. Hamath, which is really called now Hamath. Not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but this is the modern-day location of it. And it lies in Lebanon, north of Damascus. This shall be the boundary of the land on the north side from the Great Sea. So now that we see that the Great Sea is the Mediterranean Sea. So let's look at his definition one more time. The maritime boundary is a conceptual vision of the Earth's water surface areas using psychograph or geopolitical criteria. Hmm. And this shall be the boundary of the land on the north side from the Great Sea, which is the Mediterranean Sea. This deal is going to get a reaction from God. Because it says Lebanon has regained when they cannot do that because it belongs to God. And it's supposed to be for the nation of Israel for their inheritance. But for peace and safety, they are going to move the ancient boundaries which their fathers have set for their inheritance. Lebanon president. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Got a little bit long, but that is about to hate. We're here. We're seeing that in that last video that uh, Israel and uh, Lebanon came up with a uh, uh, agreement, you know, to uh, to uh, to uh, to move the border, maritime borders. And that about we already know once they say what peace and safety, then total destruction. That about the Lord already told them about moving uh, the borders. And that about you know that is uh, land that do not belong to them. You know what I'm saying? It belongs to what Israel it belongs to what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that about it, you know what I'm saying? When you read Joel chapter. Uh, uh, three, it'll tell you about, you know, the one that parted his land. The Lord's getting ready to destroy it. That's why the Lord is what gathering the nation. And also, you know, we're seeing that, you know, that uh, these BRICS nation has uh, forgotten about the dollar. They're constantly building, you know, getting ready to start their own what? Uh, their own currency. And that's about, we already know that this is going to disrupt the what? The B system. And that's about, they knowing that they got to take out Russia in order to, uh, uh, to, to feel they what enterprise. But we know, according to the description, that you know Russia and China is getting ready to what destroy America, including what the the, the NATO and also the BRIC nation. You know what I'm saying? So that about this place is finished. This place is what it, it, it's collapsing all around us. And that about it, hey, it's time to watch, pray, and be sober, because we are living in these times, real time. And that about hey, that dark winter is fast approaching. What food short? You know, water short. You know, 
rolling blackout, no electricity, no uh, 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 internet. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that get ready to happen. You know what I'm saying? A cold, dark winter, and everybody is coming upon it, but it's already been what? Engineered from the left hand side. Also, what? This new currency is getting ready to come into play. You know what I'm saying? This digital society. You know what I'm saying? Also, this AI, the pseudo side. Also, you know, we're not being able to buy or sell. You know, Revelation chapter 13. All these things are coming into play. In the middle of the we cuss this sign and crying left and right. The game's about to be over, and everybody. And all hell is about to break loose. So we'll start the lesson. One moment. We'll start the lesson. Let's, let's, let's go to Matthew chapter uh, 24. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. And I hope that you get edified. Matthew chapter 24. We'll start here. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 20. And it reads, said, said, But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. So we know that this is talking about uh, 70 AD. But I'm using it in a modern sense. And I about pray that your flight don't be in the winter time. Because that about once the lights go out. You know what I'm saying? No water and it's cold. And a lot of people are going to be hungry. A lot of people are going to be starving in there. So it's going to be what? Sedition among men, uprising of the people. They would not regard to what? The military, not regard to what the government when they go hungry. You know what I'm saying? And I'd about a lot of people going to be in desperation. A lot of people going to die in a great number when that happens total chaos, you know what I'm saying? So they get ready to set this new world order and not everybody knowing that they get, got to what? To bring down this system, to bring up this what? This new what? Beast banking system and not everybody, hey, things are rolling out. Hey, the signs of the times are here and not everybody, hey, we're here and not about wisdom and knowledge once again shall be the stability of the time. So now let's start back up and not everybody, we're approaching what? Jacob's trouble. So now let's start back up. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 21 and it reads said, for then shall uh, be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to that to this time, nor nor ever shall be. Verse uh, 22, and except those days should be short, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. So that about it, hey, the Lord's got to shorten this time because we know that we're coming upon that critical time, a time of trouble that we have never seen before. Great tribulation, great death, great mourning. That dark winter is coming upon us. And not about it, hey, we are here. The signs of the times are all around us. And not about it, and that great and glory return of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, is fast approach. And not about it, hey, we cannot wait. Our salvation is very, very close. And not about it, it's high time to what? To prophesy, you know, warn them. You know what I'm saying? Keep warning them. You know what I'm saying? Until the Lord close our mouth. And not about it, hey, we are very excited. But we know that this is it. The Lord is getting ready to return. Woo! And not about it, we read upon what? Judgment. And also these heathen nations, also Esau, Eden, and also the two thirds, they got hell to pay. So now everybody, we read upon that time. So it's going to be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So now let's go to a one moment. Let's go to uh, Second uh, Ezra chapter six. A uh, quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, second Ezra chapter six. Second Ezra chapter six, and we'll start at verse uh, verse twenty two. Second Ezra chapter uh, six and verse twenty two, and it reads: And suddenly shall the sown place appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Verse 23, and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear, they shall be suddenly afraid. And that's about, we already know, it's already talks about what? That diesel shortage. So we already know that is a, a, a critical what? A supply chain line. Once it's broken, all hell will break loose. So the sown place is going to be what? Become unsown. What? Uh, chain or what, what supply chain line what disruption and not about the, what the food won't get to the store the water won't get to the store the medical supplies you know what i'm saying and, and etc and not about it, you know what I'm saying it's going to be a complete what shutdown all hell will break loose when people go to uh, uh go to the store and there's nothing there when they get ready to go to the bank there's nothing there you know ain't nothing moving no working you know what I'm saying? Everyone is just in desperation. And I had about it. You know what I'm saying? That's when they're going to call that what? That what? That martial, uh, uh, that medical martial law. And I had about it. Things are getting ready to come into play. These unrighteous decrees are getting ready to come upon us. And I had about what? That very what? Dog winter is fast approaching. And I had about it. You know, so a lot of people are getting ready for the holiday. You know, for thanks, what? Thanks killing. And I had about it. You know, while you are sleeping, the devil is busy. And I had about it. The enemy is getting ready to strike. And the middle of the Lord, we come to sign and cry. Left and right warning you of these up in the day so the the sown place are getting ready to become what unsown so that about it's about to get real food short starvation rolling blackouts you know what i'm saying the internet would be down no lights no heating and that about it, you got to trust in the lord and that about it, and the only one that trust in the lord and fear the lord is what the elect the lord said we'll be well what in the secret place of your house by shim yashim we'll be like pyramids among the earth wherever the lord lead us and that about it, the lord said he will protect us he will sustain us in those times of trouble. Because we stay what? We stay faith and truth to him. And I by the Lord said, the same that endure, the same shall be saved. Woo! 
we cannot wait. So that, so that everybody, hey, we're coming upon that time. And hey, it's fast approach. No gasoline. You know what I'm saying? All this hyper inflation. And that about so you know you won't be able to run your automobile. You know what I'm saying? You won't be able to do pretty much anything if the Lord is not dealing with you. You're going to die. So now let's start back up one moment. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 51. Jeremiah chapter 51. One moment. Jeremiah chapter 51. One moment. Jeremiah. One moment. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 46. We'll start here. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse uh, 46. I think that's one I want to start a bit. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 46. And it reads, he said, said, let your heart faint and ye fear for the rumors that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall come a rumor and, and violence and, and in the land and rulers against rulers. Verse uh, 47, therefore, behold, the days come that I will uh, do judgment upon the graven image of Babylon and her whole land shall be confounded and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Verse 48, then the heavens and the earth and all that is all that is therein shall sing for Babylon for the spoiler shall come unto her upon from the north. And shall, and says the Lord, let's read that again. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 48. Then the heavens and the earth and all that is therein uh, shall sing for Babylon, for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, says the Lord. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, we already know what that spoiler is. You know, China and Russia troops. You know what I'm saying? And I had about it, you know what I'm saying? This place is getting ready to be invaded. And I about it, you seeing that America, what, it's weak. You know, it's constantly what? crumbling, constantly collapsing. And I had about it, you know, we seeing that, you know, we running out of what? All sorts of a diesel supply, you know, energy. And I had about it, you know, we seeing that Saudi Arabia, you know what I'm saying? They have turned this down, you know, with, with, with supplies, uh, that oil supply over there, it would, would have helped us. But that about it, we knowing that all of this has been engineered. And I had about it, we seeing that everyone is, is, is in collaboration to go against the what the whore. They're hating the whore. And I had about it, we're coming upon that time. So we seeing what? Rumors of wars, you know what I'm saying? Earthquakes and diverse places, uproars of the peoples, and that about so a lot of people are beginning to see that something is getting ready to happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's you know it's a, it's a high time. You know what I'm saying to seek the Lord. It's a high time to what to prophesy to warn them, and that about to become because we what we coming upon this time. It's fast approaching. What that dog winter, and that about a perilous time that we have never seen before. It is it's at the door, and that about we constantly warn you left and right, and that about but a lot of people still what. Thinking that they're a good case and out about it. Hey, all of the signs of the time, they are here. So now, let's start back up one moment. Let's drop down to Jeremiah chapter uh, 51. We'll drop down to verse 52. We'll start up here. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 52. And it reads, said, Wherefore, behold, the day comes, says the Lord, that I will do judgment upon her graven image. And, and, and through all her land, uh, the wounded shall groan. Verse 53. Uh, through Babylon uh, shall mount up to heaven, and though she uh, should uh, uh, fortify uh, the heights of her strength, yet uh, from me shall the spoiler come unto her, says the Lord. Verse uh, 50, uh, 54, a sound of a cry cometh from Babylon, and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans, it's talking about America. Verse uh, 55, because the land has spoiled uh, because the land has spoiled Babylon and so like let's start over again Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 55 because the Lord uh, has spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voice when her waves uh, do roar like great waters a noise of their voice is uttered verse uh, 56 because the spoiler is come upon her even upon Babylon her mighty men are taken every one and their and, and their bowls is broken. For the Lord, uh, Lord, thy power of, of recompense shall surely uh, requite uh, recompense and judgment right upon us. Verse fifty-seven. And I will make make uh, drunk her princes and her wise men, her captains and her rulers and her mighty men, and they shall sleep a petrol sleep and not wake. Says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 58. Thus said the Lord of hosts, uh, the broad walls of Babylon uh, should be utterly broken, 
and her high gates shall be burned with fire, and the people shall labor in vain, and the folks in the fire, and uh, they shall be weary. And that about that's what's going to get ready to happen to Babylon the Great, which in fact is America, you know what I'm saying? So that 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 spoiler that's getting ready to come out of the north is what? It's Russia and China troops. And also that collaboration, NATO, and also these brick nations, they're gonna come up against the whore. And out about they're gonna burn the whore. And out about it, it's gonna be great death and great destruction. And out about it, it's gonna be a lawless time. Insurrection. You know what I'm saying? Out about it, you know it's gonna be you no know, kill or be killed. And out about it, hey. The Lord, hey, the Lord's getting ready to return and do a mighty work. So the Lord's getting ready what? to bring that judgment. It's right upon us. And I'd about to say, first, my judgment will start at the house of Israel. And I'd about that dog runner is constantly approaching. A lot of people get ready to what? A die in a great number. The Lord is getting ready to visit the earth that he created. He's visiting it now. And also, you get, he's getting ready to show up and show out. And I'd about it. We constantly want it. We are here. It is at the door. So now, let's drop down to uh, Jeremiah chapter uh 51, one moment, Jeremiah chapter 51, and we'll drop down to verse, one moment, so like, no, that's all I want to get out of here, I think that's all I want to get, no, let's go to Jeremiah chapter, one moment, no, so like, so like, let's go to Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 7, so like, Ezekiel chapter 7, Ezekiel chapter 7, and we'll start up at the top at verse 1, Ezekiel chapter 7, and we'll start up at verse 1, and it reads that, it said, moreover, the word of the Lord uh, came unto me, saying, verse 2, also thou son of man, thus said uh, the Almighty unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come upon the four corners of, of the land. Verse 3, now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and I will recompense upon thee all thy abomination. Verse 4, and and my eyes shall not spare thee, neither sh neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord's getting ready to do it. The Lord's getting ready to what? To bring that righteous judgment. And everybody you know, he's getting ready what? To burn what? Babylon the great for all the what? For all the atrocities, all the innocent blood that was shed, and also for the controversy of Zion. The Lord's getting ready to judge this place with what? With that fervent heat. There will be no inhabitant left here. So the Lord's getting ready to shake this place to the foundation. And, and that day they shall know that he is the Lord. And out of the Lord is getting ready to return and do a mighty work. So now let's start back up. Ezekiel chapter 7, one moment. Ezekiel chapter 7, we'll start back up at verse 5. And it reads, said, Thus said the Almighty, and evil, and only evil, be, uh, behold, is come. Verse uh, 6, and end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. Verse uh, 7, the morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. Uh, the time is come. Uh, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Verse 8, now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee and I will judge of thee according to thy, to thy ways and will recompense of thee for all thy abomination. Uh, verse 9, and, 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 and my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thy abomin abomination uh, that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord uh, that smitten. Verse 10, behold the day, behold the day, behold it come. The morning is gone forth. The rod has uh, blossomed. Pride has budded. Verse 11, violence is risen up uh, into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be uh, wailing for them. And out of we know that a lot of people what walking in great pride. So great misery is getting ready to befall them. Also, wickedness has exceeded, polluted the whole earth. So the love of men is waxing colder and colder. This place is what is it's very dark. This place is very deceitful. You know what I'm saying? Homosexuality, beast uh, uh, uh nality, you know what I'm saying? Uh pay a fear, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh people are walking around what in uh uh covenants, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are turning back on what? Yeah, how by Shimmy, I was shot. Despisers of the word, despisers of the prophets, and that about it. it's getting ready to be a thing of the past. So that about it, all the unfaithful shall what die in the unfaithful, and the Lord's getting ready what to bring that righteous judgment, and we cannot wait. So now let's start back up. Uh, Ezekiel 
chapter 7, and we'll start back up one moment. We'll start back up at verse, uh, let's start back up at verse, uh, verse 12. The time, the time is come, the day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for the wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Verse 13, for the seller shall not return to, to that which is a soul, although they were yet alive. For the vision is a touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen uh, himself in the iniquity of his life. Verse 14, they have blown the trumpet, uh, even to make all ready, but none goes uh, to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Verse uh, 15, the sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. So that is about the hey, we're coming upon that time. Great death, great mourning. You know what I'm saying? Total chaos. And that about and that about the Lord's getting ready to come back in the midst of World War Three. And I about to judge this place. And I about hey, we cannot wait. We are sick and tired of this place. This place is polluted. The people are polluted. The food is polluted. And I about we're ready to get out of this nightmare and get back in our first estate in mortality, rulership, spiritual power. This dog winner. So that about the Lord said, you know, saying through much tribulation. Ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So I'm thinking that this will be the dog winner that uh, Biden was talking about several months back, and it's about to get real. And I'd about to hey, you know, food short, starvation. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things are coming down the pipeline, and I'd about a lot of people walking in great pride. So the Lord is getting ready to humble them, and I'd about the Lord is getting ready to cease the arrogancy of the pride. We get ready to get that, and I'd about let's drop down to uh Jeremiah now Ezekiel chapter seven, and we'll drop down to verse nineteen. Let's get this right quick, then we'll move on to Isaiah. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 19. <clears throat> and it reads, it said, They shall cast their silver in the street, and their gold shall be removed. Shall be removed. Uh, their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy uh, their soul, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. So when this economy crash, which in fact is fastly approaching, and I had about you know the end of the dollar, and I had about it, all hell would break loose. So your money would be no no good. Your resource, you thinking that you're a good case, all that would be a thing of the past. A lot of people gonna be in desperation. A lot of people gonna be what traveling like a woman. Jacob trouble is right upon it. A time of trouble that we have never seen before. So a great depth, great morning. It's right upon us. And I'd about, it's time to seek the Lord while he can be found. And I'd about, we're here. It is at the door. So now, let's go to one moment. Let's go to, uh, let's go to second Ezra. No, let's go to Isaiah chapter 13. One moment. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 13. One moment. Isaiah chapter 13. And we'll start at verse, one moment. Something I want to get out of here. Let's start at verse six. Uh, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse six. And it reads that, how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Verse 7, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man heart shall melt. Verse 8, and they uh verse 8, and they shall be afraid, pains and sorrow uh shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travail. They shall be amazed one to another. Their faces shall be as flame. Verse uh, 9, behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and 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 shall destroy the sinner thereof out of it. Uh, let's drop down to verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will uh, cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Verse 12, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So that about it. And that time of trouble, when it when it hit, you know what I'm saying? When the Lord returned, when these IBC missile hit, you know what I'm saying? And it, uh, uh, in the midst of uh, all this uh, uh, chaos, you know what I'm saying? A Lord is getting ready to cease the what? The arrogance of the proud. And that about a lot of people right now thinking that uh, they're a good case, leaning on their own understanding, not trusting and believing in Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, trust in oppression. 
trusting in what? The strength of Egypt and the so-called white man, also that hokey pokey. A lot of people gonna line up and take it and you will be totally destroyed. And everybody you know in that time, you know, a lot of men are getting ready to die in a great number. So a lot of women will be left at widows. They will not have any help. And everybody, you know, they're going to be pleading for a man in that day. You know, so so they're talking all this, talking about they don't need a man. You know, talking about I can do this by myself. But everyone will be humble. All the, the, uh, the Lord is going to cease all this unbelief, all this pride, all this arrogance. It's getting ready to be a thing of the past. And everybody, hey, you're going to know in that day that the Lord, because he's getting ready to make his more. He's getting ready to shake this place to the foundation. And we cut some warning left and right. And everybody, hey. The, your, your necessity, your well life is getting ready to change. This is getting ready to be a third world country. We cut the warning you left and right. So a lot of people were in for a what? A rude awakening. And I about hey, the Lord is getting ready to shake this place to the foundation. A lot of people getting ready to die in a great number. Woo! We cut the warning you left and right. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Uh, also, let's go to uh, let's go to, uh, First Thessalonians. Chapter 5, something I don't want to get out of here before we close out. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, one moment. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. And it reads, said, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them, as travail with woman, with child, and they shall not escape. And I about it, that's getting ready to happen, you know. So uh, Israel and uh, Lebanon has came up with a, a what a, a agreement, you know, uh, that maritime border, you know what I'm saying, moving the borders and out about you. Hey, you know they got hell to pay. The Lord's getting ready to destroy that place with what with that fervent heat and out about it. Hey, when you mess with the Lord's property, the Lord's getting ready to strike and out about it. Hey, whoo, we're here. It's at the door and out about Joel chapter three is popping off the page. The Lord is getting ready to gather the nation and out about it. The Lord is getting ready to return. Woo, we constantly warn you left and right. It is time to seek the Lord. It's time to have faith. You know, I ask the Lord to, to, to guide you. Ask the Lord to give you understanding if the Lord is dealing with you. And I about it, we're coming upon these perilous times. The Lord is the only way and the only answer. Woo, the kingdom of heaven, it is at hand. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to second area chapter 15. We get ready to close out. Let's go to second area chapter 15. One moment. Second area chapter 15. Let's see how much time I got. Second area chapter 15, one moment. Second Hebrew chapter 15 and verse 14. Second Hebrew chapter 15, and we'll start up at verse 14. We get ready to close out. And it reads, says, uh, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Uh, verse 15, for the sword and, the, and their destruction draws nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Verse 18, for because their pride, the city shall, shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses and, and with the sword and spoil their goods because the lack of bread and great tribulation. So that's getting ready to happen. So they're saying that they may have a 25 a uh, day supply or a 17 day supply, but that about they are running what running very low with diesel. So we know once that happens, you know what I'm saying, will be what sedition among men, uprising of the people. You know what I'm saying? They they would not regard to what the law enforcement, not regard to what the military, not regard to what the government, you know, it's not regard to what their neighbors, you know, kill or be killed. You know what I'm saying? Also, that purge is coming. So a lot of people get ready to be what? Killed. Get ready to be raped. They get ready to what? To feed you things being out. A man would not be able to go into another city because of what? These unrighteous decree. What? These mandates. These uh, uh, martial law. You know what I'm saying? Medical martial law. Also, these FEMA camps are coming in a big way. And we constantly warn you left and right. Get ready to feed you things being out. Which in fact is that what? The RFD microchip. Which in fact is the mark of the chip. In your what? In your right hand and in your what? Your forehead. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm about, we're upon that time. You know what I'm saying? The hour of, of technology, the hour of what? Of what? A uh, temptation is right before our eyes. And I'm about, the middle of the Lord, we constantly sign and crying, left and right, letting you letting you know that, hey, a dog winner is coming to America. Food short, rolling blackout, no power, no internet. You know what I'm saying? No water, no food. And I'm about, you got to pin on the Lord. And I'm about, if the Lord's not dealing with you, you will be totally destroyed. So now, let's go to our last and final script. Let's go to uh, Second Hebrews chapter 14. We'll close out here. Second Hebrews chapter 14 
and we'll start up at verse 13. He said, now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Get your mind right. Get your house right. And out of back and follow Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shaka. He's the only way and he's the only answer. So now let's start back up. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse uh, in verse 14. Let go from thee, mortal thought. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And out of back, let go of this world. And out of back, and come under that right mindset. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. You know what I'm saying? Have a stable mind in these times of trouble. And I about let go of the model thought. You know what I'm saying? Oh, whatever's going on in this world. You know what I'm saying? This is the temple world. This place is getting ready to be destroyed. And I about with that fervent heat. And I about it's time to what? To, to lean on what? Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah. Let him direct your path each and every day. So let go of this world. Let go of the model thoughts. And I about it. And come at it. Come back under that what? Total subjection to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah. So now let's start back up. Second, uh, Ezra chapter 14 and verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and hate thee to flee from these times. How long, O Lord, we hasten his great and glorious return. Verse 16, for yet greater evil than those which thou hast uh, seen happen shall be done hereafter. Verse 17, for look how much the world uh, shall be weaker through age. So much more shall evils increase upon, their, upon them that dwell therein. Verse 18, for the time is fled or far away, and leasing or lying is as hard at hard at hand. For now hasten the vision to come. Right now, you know, though it tear, wait for it, it surely shall come. The vision to come, which uh, thou hast seen. Let's read that again. Second Aries chapter 14 and verse 18. For the time is uh, fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. For now, hasten the vision to come, which thou hast seen. And out of about head, we are very close to what? To the end of the world. We are very close to the second coming of our Lord and Savior. We are very close to what? To World War Three. We are very close to what? This time of trouble that we have never seen before. It's Jacob's trouble. And out of about you know what I'm saying? This new world order. You know what I'm saying? Order out of chaos. Things are getting ready to happen in ways that you do not know how. And out of about it's time to watch, pray, and be sold. And out of about we are living in these times. Real time. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is Watchman Report. Dark winter coming to America. So I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rikakadash. I'd like to say Shalom.